Dave Top, it's great to see you here again. Welcome back to Working Football Club. Thank you. Was it an easy decision? Yeah, it was. Um, the club obviously is obviously a great club to be at. We had a good season last year. Uh, after speaking to Dallas and the players he wants to bring in and the players he's hoping to sign and keep from last year, it was an easy decision to stay. Did he ring you up or did you ring him up to say what's going on? Uh, we spoke a few times obviously since the obviously lockdown um, and said we'll stay in touch. And he, he was obviously hoping to, to keep me on. Um, yeah, and sort of over the last few days we've kept in touch. So yeah, I came to and uh, yeah, signed. All done. Yeah, all done. Brilliant. Um, what was your highlight of last season? Your personal highlight? Uh, personal was the goal. Um, the, the goal of the season. Yeah, goal, goal of the season at Hartlepool. But team wise, I think the away performance at Chesterfield to uh, go there on a Tuesday night yeah. um, against a, a so called big hitter. I know they were struggling at the time. To go there and win there is a uh, yeah, is a massive achievement for Woken. Yeah, and it was two 0 wasn't it? Uh, was it two 0 I think it might have been two one. Two one, all right. But We've yeah, got to two go, anyway. Yeah, to go there on a Tuesday night and yeah. uh, turn them over on their at their ground is uh, massive. Yep. And uh, you've mentioned lockdown, the uh, infamous lockdown. How's that been? Yeah, good. Obviously, obviously, been off work, been on furlough. Uh, spent a lot of time with my family, which I've loved. Uh, starting to get a bit. Back to a bit more, more normality now. Um, so hopefully now the season can start and go back to pre-season with the boys. Yeah, you were just saying you've actually gone back to work this week, yesterday? Yeah, I've, yeah, I've started today. Uh, today? Yeah, first time I've gone back to work really in about three and a bit months. You remember what you do, what you're supposed to do? <laughs> yeah, just. <laughs> um, but now hopefully over the next like few months I'll start, my work will start picking up, back to training so I might get back to normal. Yeah, the, I mean, joking apart, there's... Is it the situation with your company that they've lost a lot of contracts and got to build it up again, or is, is has the work been sitting there waiting for you to it's, do it? Yeah, well, the, on the job I'm running at the, uh, the minute is it's, it was quite a big job, but the, obviously the workloads uh, been cut, so obviously the, the amount of work on site isn't isn't as much. So yeah, I've, been, I've been on furlough, but now that's slowly picking up. I can go back to work. Yeah. So uh, how have you been filling the time? Keeping fit. I haven't really stopped. Um, I've got myself in good shape. Obviously, I'm 31 now, so I've realised I need to get get myself in the best shape I can for, to extend my career. So yeah, I feel I've done that. And uh, the knee still all good. Yeah, knee's all good. Didn't have any flare-ups or any issues last year. So touch wood, uh, I'll have another good season and push on. And those of us who follow you on social media will have seen you've been knocking out the runs. They were, they were. Did you get instructions from Ian Dyer about? Runs and recording them and yeah, so the f on. The, uh, the first couple of weeks after we obviously the season stopped, we was on furlough as a team, uh, so they gave us some obviously fitness pl plans to try and work to, not knowing the season was going to end. Uh, so I started doing that and then realised sort of I didn't enjoy it as such, but I needed to keep myself going. So yeah, from that I've carried on, keeping myself fit and running. And some of the boys have been putting them on uh, Instagram as you have some, um, but you were telling me earlier that you got smashed out of the park by someone slightly surprising maybe yeah Jaden uh where he was he was 16 so he's got a fresh lungs fresh legs <laughs> and he uh smashed a 10k in a ridiculously quick time so i thought i'll try and uh catch it. i still haven't beat it yet that's my target because uh, yeah I, I i thought you had recorded the fastest times and some of these things but uh yeah no i've sort of still got a target yeah i was about f about five or six down the old pecking order Jaden smashed everyone, even uh, I think Jarvo got beat by him, but obviously he's only 16, so fresh legs, fresh lungs, yeah. lots of energy. Good for him. Not so many miles on the clock, maybe. No. That, was, uh, that maybe caused it. So uh, what, what information do you have about when the season might start and so on? Uh, not a lot, really. Obviously, I think a lot of things are going around. It might be the beginning of September, which is a realistic target. So obviously we'll be back in training probably in the next three, four weeks. Um, which is realistic. I think the way that the places are opening and the, the restrictions are sort of easing a little bit, that makes sense. Um, if you can go to to a pub and drink with a hundred other people, I can't see why you can't go back to playing football. Um, yeah, it's not so much the playing football that as, as letting the crowd in, isn't it? Yeah, obviously a lot of grounds now are quite open. Obviously here, if they was to reduce the capacity, we'd still be able to fit in a good few, yeah. a few thousand comfortably. So hopefully that that would be the case we can get back and the fans supporting us very soon. Yeah, I agree completely. Um, if it was cut to 2,000, that, that would be financially viable for us and 
people could two thousand people could spread out around this ground without any difficulty. Yeah, I can't see that being a problem. Obviously, that probably won't be too far off our average from last year. So obviously, yeah, if you've got to restrict a little bit, but only for a couple of months, I'm sure it'll be fine. And it, I think all all clubs will lose a few people who won't want to go out and won't want to take chances. Yeah, there'll be a few. Um, obviously, a lot a lot of people are different in, in their views and the ways they they sort of take it, but. Hopefully everyone will, as soon as they can come back, will come and support us. And lastly, um, dare I say this, much like myself, I'm told you've been losing weight. Yeah, I've, obviously it might be a shot where I've lost about a stone <laughs> stone in weight. There wasn't really much to lose. but yeah, well, I, I was just going to say, I'm amazed you had a stone to lose. I yeah, did easily. I, um, but... Yeah, I've got myself in shape. Um, converted a, a garage in my, at my house into a gym and sort of try, tried to extend my career as much as I can. And hopefully... Uh, yeah, I've got a good few years to come. Do you ever time yourself on s sprints at all, just to see where you are? You know, twenty-five meters or fifty. No, I haven't done that at the minute. I'm just sort of. I was just doing some long distance, but over the next couple yeah. of weeks, I'm going to start doing some shorter distance soon, and yeah, to do some do some times. Yeah, that would be interesting, I'm sure. And uh, last question: um, Has Dow said anything to you about what he expects from you this season in terms of role? No, well, apart, was, apart from saying you'll be in the 18-man squad. Yeah, well, hopefully I'll be in the 18-man squad. Uh, we, we had a discussion. He said I might take the number two shirt next year. Um, but no, obviously, I'm a striker. I want to play up front um, or anywhere across the attacking line. So I'm sure he sees me in there. I've, I can contribute. I think I got eight goals last year. I set myself a target 10 to 15, which obviously pre-lockdown I was probably on target to... To, yeah. to make um, you probably weren't expecting to be playing on the right most no um, obviously I think I'll probably be my target for this year as well so yeah, hopefully I can I can get that and get, get a good few starts and I think bar the few games on the Astro turf which I had to miss I didn't miss any games um, for injury so yeah hopefully I can carry that on brilliant great to see you back thanks very much for your time this thank, afternoon thank you very much